Over half of tech users today are leveraging AI to save time. Are you one of them? After experimenting with three AI automation tools for the past three months, I found one that really stands out. I'll show you how AI automated my day-to-day -day task in today's video. And don't worry, you don't have to be a tech genius to understand what I'm about to demonstrate today. In fact, I'm going to show you a very easy no-code approach if you don't have any experience with code in a row. And then I'm going to show you a much more advanced approach that uses crew AI to basically tackle the same task. This setup alone has a saved me two hours each week. I was watching an Andre Kapati video the other day and if you don't know who Andre is, Andre is a big shot at OpenAI and in the video he said right now AI language models can only do system one thinking. They are like auto predict on steroids. They can't tackle problems from all angles and come up with solid solutions. And for AI to truly help humanity, they need to be doing system two thinking. For me, I believe when AI truly reaches system two thinking, this is when we can start to see certain office and administrative jobs get automated. Let me show you what my setup used to be. So I make YouTube videos. I my process usually involves make the video turn it into a LinkedIn post that I can post on LinkedIn and also from there turn it into a Twitter thread that I can post on Twitter and this process usually takes time it takes uh, translating the transcript from my YouTube video and carefully going through it and try to summarize it and uh, come out with uh, LinkedIn post that follows the LinkedIn guidelines and this whole process usually will take me about two hours sometimes even more depending on the length of the video but I figured out a way to automate this entire process using no code approach which is MIC and this process is, uses no code at all it's actually pretty pretty simple to set up and usually this involves me uploading the video YouTube URL to Google Sheets and make that combo automatically detect that from the Google Sheet go out there transcribe a transcript summarize and then uh, take a photo of uh, the subject or topic we are talking about do what it needs to do follow uh, LinkedIn post guidelines and then return the results into the column B table so before we proceed let me show you what my automation process used to look like so make.com is a no code automation platform that allows you to connect several apps to it and then basically create an automated workflow similar to automation platforms like Zapier or IFTTT. Make.com uses what is called scenarios, which is essentially a series of steps that are triggered by specific events. For instance, you can create a scenario that automatically saves attachments from incoming emails to a Google Drive folder. And the good thing I love about Make.com is it supports hundreds of apps and services. And this basically allows you to create complex workflows by combining multiple applications. My only issue so far with it has been uh, the ability to have a lot more customization options. So connecting a bunch of different services to your make.com can be an expensive process. Maybe I was going about it the wrong way, but it can only run every 15 minutes. So the process involves the following steps. Setting up a Google Sheet to trigger the automation by entering a YouTube video URL. Second, we use a GPT agent with a pre-written Python script to extract the video transcript. Thirdly, we run the Python script using a no-code platform called Zero Code Kit. To retrieve the transcript then we send the transcript to another gpt agent trained to summarize the content and generate key takeaways then we send the summary to a specialized gpt agent called linkedin bot to generate a linkedin post with relevant hashtags then using the dali 3 ai model to create an image based on the video content to accompany the social media post finally we export the general post and image to a google sheet to review and approve over here we're gonna use a great python library called crew ai the way crew ai works is there are three key components it uses uh what you call agents and then uh tasks and then tools uh so imagine running a marketing agency okay and you have a team of specialized professionals working together to create a successful marketing campaign for a client in this instance uh the marketing agency represents 
crew AI and the professionals within the marketing agency would be called agents. Okay, so just like each uh, professional in the marketing agency has a specific role and expertise. Uh, for instance, the graphic designer, the content writer, the project manager, right? Each agent in the crew AI has unique role and specialization. These agents are AI models designed to perform specific functions based on their assigned roles and goals. We have the ability to have a manager, okay? The manager would be, let's say, the project manager within your marketing agency that oversees the entire process, ensuring the final product meets the requirements and guidelines and standards, okay? In this crew AI, we have an image generator, we have a manager, and then we have a writer. So these are different roles within this agents, within this crew. Each agent has tasks that they must use to accomplish their works, right? So each agent is assigned a task. And the third component uh, within the setup would be tools. So the tools will be the software, the platforms, the resources these uh, professionals within the marketing agency would use uh, to create uh, the marketing campaign for this LinkedIn post, right? Uh, tools are your additional functionalities or APIs that agents uh, can utilize to perform the task. And I'm going to show you some of uh, how we use some of these tools, okay? So if you want to set up a similar file like this, you need to download VS Code from vscode.com and then set up a index. I have this index.py file set up in this folder, LinkedIn automation, that basically is set in my documents folder. And uh, within this folder, I just created an index.py file and then import it into your VS Code and you should have this. So, so over here at the top, we have our imports and then over here some additional imports over here define the llm and then i'm currently using open ai and with gpt 3.5 table for testing wise you want to use 3.5 because this operation can be expensive so if you want to after your testing and you go live you can switch this to gpt4 but just so it's about 70 cents or so to run an operation and this is going to run severally so it is an expensive process so that is something to keep in mind and and this step basically we are prompting the user to enter a youtube url and i'll demonstrate this in a second and then store that value into the video URL, print that, and then define a full transcript here that we will be assigning this tool to. So this is our first, first tool here. Tools are basically the tools agents need to be able to perform their tasks. So we have this first tool here, which is a fetch video transcript. That is, and basically what it does is, uh, it uses a YouTube transcript API, basically, grab the YouTube URL that was inputted by the user through the command interface and uh, goes out there and transcribes that YouTube video into the transcript. And then over here, we're just assigning that value to the full transcript. And the second tool we have here is generate image tool. And this one is basically uh, generating images using DALI 3 with uh, a very specific uh, prompt and we can make this prompt dynamic as well if we want to but uh, it uses the information based on the transcript and over here we just uh, using the first 50 characters from the transcript this could be a lot better and uh, I should clean this up but for now the first 50 characters it should be able to tell what this is about but just definitely need some cleanup. Maybe use a summary in this process. And then uh, the image size. And this is going to communicate with DALI 3 and uh, then provide us with uh, and provide us with the image and, and then store it into and then st store it into and then write a file into our local folder. That is the second tool. So now we come to agents and in this instance, we have the image generator agent. Its role is to basically basically make sure this image is generated. That it's all its job. And then assign to and over here we have the manager with a specific role, goal, and backstory and uh, fetch video transcript tool. 
and the manager's goal is to oversee the creation of the LinkedIn post based on the video transcript. So he is supposed to enforce everything, make sure the image is generated, the transcript is translated and converted into a LinkedIn post with some additional guidelines. And then, and then we have the agent called the writer with specific role, goal, backstory, and then a fetch video transcript tool. And the writer's goal is to create a compelling LinkedIn thread. That's it. And it has a long list of instructions here that can go into, but basically combines a lot of the LinkedIn guidelines and some specific examples as to how it should look like, how the introduction, the hook was very specific instructions. So that is a long one here. And then, and then we enter into tasks. So the first one we have is the first one we have is, and then we, we have the image task that basically is assigned to, to the image generator image, generator image generator agent. The writer task that is assigned to, uh, that is assigned to the writer agent. Uh, and then we have the manager task uh, that is assigned to the manager. And then yeah, over here you have, uh, this is where you tie everything together, all right? And in the end, we're just printing out the results. Uh, and then it does something as well. If we go to the manager, the manager performs a very specific role here. Uh, first of all, takes the context of the right task and the image task, and then output those into the LinkedIn post MD. That is going to look that ad is going to create locally uh, within this folder that we are about to see in a second. And then it also has access to the video transcript tool. So let me open up the terminal and uh, and then we run the script. So, and then let's, uh, let's run the script and then enter the URL, which is just the URL to one of my videos. And then it's just gonna go off and do it then. As you can see, the first step is getting the transcript and it's basically printing it which is the transcript from the video. So it was able to obtain it. So it looks like uh, the first agent was able to, uh, was able to transcribe it. I was able to summarize it. I think this was the first draft to turn it into a LinkedIn post. And what it's gonna do is gonna go back and forth. I need to create a compelling LinkedIn thread about self-confidence based on the provided article. I must engage the audience. So it rechecks its, its work, goes back into the transcript and try to redo the work again, just to make sure. Goes back to the manager, the manager makes, uh, reinforces to make sure basically, basically does the work correctly. So the manager, what, this is the manager and the writer going back and forth here, as you can see, talking back and forth, just making sure. And as you can see here, this is the final, this is the final post. And you can see it's very different from some of the apps that it came out with, as you can see. As you can see, this is one of the drafts. Self-confidence is something we all strive for by the traditional advice out there. So you can see it came out with the draft, went and self-corrected itself and finally came out with this. Are you tired of traditional self-confidence? Uh, advice that just don't seem to stick. It's time to rethink how we approach uh, boosting self-confidence. So it did some. It did a pretty good job. I would have wanted this to be a little bit longer. And then look at the photo I ended up with, which isn't bad at all. Which isn't bad at all. So yeah. So yeah, this is it, guys. Hopefully you took something away from this. And. I'll leave the code down below in the description so you can go uh, have fun with it, play with it if you want to. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Remember how earlier I said level two thinking is how a lot of uh, jobs that we know as of now is gonna uh, start getting automated. And if you wanna hear me go more in depth about that, I covered that in my previous video. It's going to pop up right now. Go check it out.